Hi everybody, this is Shannon Yvette and I'm super excited because I believe we're in a season of crazy favor. Crazy, 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 radical, ridiculous favor because favor is always a sign to new levels of purpose. It's always a sign to new levels of destiny. It's always a sign to a new type of assignment. And the scripture that is ringing so loudly in my spirit is Isaiah 55 and five. And I'm out here about to go to dinner with my family, <laughs> brought my Bible into the desert uh, just to share this with you. Isaiah 55 and five says, behold, Thou shalt call nations that you do not know and nations that know you not. And they will run to you. They will run to you because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. You know, I, I love this scripture because it also speaks to the word splendor. It says that he has put his splendor upon you. And I actually have my son who's standing right here, look up the different meanings for splendor. And I wanna share them with you because when favor comes upon you, when favor comes upon you it reveals the lord's splendor it reveals the lord's splendor in such a way in hollywood they call it the it factor people don't know why they're going out of their way to do things for you but it's because the success that you have in the kingdom the the splendor and the favor that god puts on you is a magnet purpose and right alignment with your assignment draws all things good to you and in this season of crazy favor your life is going to reflect splendor. So break it down, son. What splendor mean? <laughs> um, it's magnificence, opulence, luxury, richness, glory, beauty, elegance, majesty, and nobility. You guys hear that? Let me just say a few. I think I heard luxury, nobility, magnificence. What else? Opulence. Opulence. Give me another one. Nobility. <laughs> nobility. That sounds like God. That sounds like God. And if God lives on the inside of me and God lives on the inside of you and God always displays his beauty everywhere we've been in this beautiful desert displays the wonders of God's hand. All of nature displays the glory of God and God is saying my greatest work lies on the inside of my children who are a reflection of my image. We are made in the image of God. Each one of us looks like a little bitty piece of God. So the way you reflect God is not the same way I reflect God but in this hour there are doors that are going to open to you there are nations that do not know you that are going to come to you God is saying take this territory and take it now whatever field God has assigned you to it's time to dominate dominate is not a negative word it's not a word that gets you caught up in the shark and greed culture domination is a duty it's dominion it's dominion. It's the first thing that God gave us when he put life and breath inside of us. He gave us dominion over the territory. And there are so many of us who are under the circumstance. You know, my dad used to say when you meet people and you ask them who they are and they say, well, I mean, how they are. And they say, well, you know, under the circumstance, there is no way a child of God should be living under a circumstance. We are above and not beneath. We are the head and not the tail. When Jesus died on the cross, he reinstated, he restored, he gave everything back to us as a re-reward. He gave us back everything Adam had plus some. He gave us back everything Eve had plus some. He gave us the ability to walk with God, to talk with God, to be in divine communion, divine connection, to hear the spirit of God, to speak as an oracle of God, to see what God sees, to hear what God is saying. And so if we're seeing what God is seeing as oracles and prophets and those who are gifted and called of God, if we're hearing what God is speaking as those who are discerning rightfully the wisdom and the knowledge of God, because we pray for those gifts and we pray for those gifts to increase in this season of crazy and radical favor where God is saying, I'm going to bring to you nations. You don't have to promote yourself, but position yourself. Listen, don't jockey after man's promotion. Hide yourself in the alignment and the posture and the position of one who is favored of God.
And that comes with a yes, Lord, whatever your assignment is for me in this season, I desire to be in sync and in alignment and committed to the call that you have on my life. I won't withhold. I won't hold back. I'll give you my yes. I'll give you it all because you already have everything assigned and predestined for me. Nations will bow down at your feet and your life will display the splendor, the magnificence, the affluence, the opulence, the luxury, the nobility of your creator. You know, years ago when my boys used to leave the house, I would say, don't go out looking like that. <laughs> right? Because you reflect me. You can't be, you can't be tagging along with rags on, right? You reflect me. That's old school. You can't leave the house looking like that. If you're with me, you represent me. And am I saying outward things and wealth and all of those things reflect God as much as a kind heart and a gentle and surrendered spirit and compassion and all of the fruits of the spirit? No. We don't glorify the gifts above the ultimate calling, which, to, it's just, which is to love in the likeness of our creator. However, success leaves clues. God is successful. God is successful. Everything he touches, everything he breathes into, everything he's involved in multiplies and increases. And so our lives should reflect and look like our creator. And so here's the activation. Here's the prayer in this hour, in this, in this window, in this moment of crazy favor for your new assignment, in this moment of radical and uncommon favor to get you positioned. The activation is, God, I want my life to reflect you. God, I pray that my life reflects your glory, that it reflects your nobility, that it reflects your honor, that it reflects your power, that it, it reflects your expansiveness. There is no lack in God. There is no lack. There is no limitation. We break ties with every belief system in this world that ties us to lack and scarcity. It's demonic. It's not of God. There was a great reversal on the cross and that reversal reinstated everything that you were promised as a joint heir to walk in domination. We don't compete. Who are we competing with? Who, who are we competing with? A called person doesn't compete. They dominate. They take the land. They seize the territory and they give God all the glory. Not the hustle, not their likes, not their self-promotion, but they give the most high God living and breathing and moving and revealing his splendor on the inside of them. They give him the glory. And God said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. So I pray that you meditate on Isaiah 55 and 5, 5, 5, 5. Five. That's grace, grace, grace. Five is the number of grace. May God's grace increase on your life, his ability to flow through you and in you. This is not something you have to do on your own. This is something that's already done. This is something that's already done. Now, will we get in agreement with it? Will we walk with it? Will we surrender to this completed work and let it reveal God's glory more and more and more each day, right? We go from glory. The Bible says we go from glory to glory to glory to glory. And in doing so, we glorify the Most High King who wants nations to bow down at your feet who wants to reveal his splendor through you. Amen. God bless you in this season of crazy, ridiculous, expansive favor. You deserve it and you owe God that surrendered yes. The resistance is over. No longer will we resist our own good, but we will allow and expect these miracles to live and breathe through us. Look out for the signs, look out for the wonders in this season of crazy favor and radical favor for your assignment, for your purpose, and for a time such as this, amen. I'll see you guys soon, bye.